practice prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Just a little bit ago, I put out a request for some help with something and there was a huge response. Thank you guys all very much. What I'd asked for help with was I have a second YouTube channel. It's a kids ed education thing and I needed some help getting to a critical threshold of subscribers so I could create a unique URL for it. People really stepped up to the plate, made it happen. And the deal was, if you guys did that for me, thank you very much, I would do a challenge. And the challenge was, it's a snowstorm outside right now and I'm going to run a mile in the snowstorm with nothing but my underwear on uh, and boots and I was thinking I might keep my gloves on because I might slip and I don't want to rip up my hands uh, on rocks and things like that because I might be going off trail a little bit. So uh, we're going to do that right now and I was thinking initially that this was going to be just kind of a fluff thing. It's like, hey, it's fun. Thank you guys. Here's this weird thing I'm doing. But I realized I'm about to put my body through something very strenuous and difficult. I know for me personally, I'm not good at running in the cold. I tend to get nauseous. It just does not agree with my system. But in a collapse or a SHTF situation, I might have to run through the cold. So you need to be able to, to deal with that. And I have a uh, prepping tip that I'm going to share with you guys at the end because I'm probably going to have to use it myself. It's something I keep in my bug out bag all the time. And when I get back, I'm probably going to be implementing that. So the location that we're going to be running to is about a quarter of a mile into the woods. It's a lake back there. And th that might sound like, well, a quarter mile there and back, that's only a half a mile. Well, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of loops because Amber's on camera. It's hard to run at full throttle when you're operating a camera. And uh, River is six years old. So uh, I'm going to probably be doing lots of loops to kind of keep everyone together. That'll also have the added benefit of uh, making it so that the whole video isn't just a shot of my butt and back as much as everyone would enjoy that. <laughs> All right, so are we ready? All right, here we go. When I go through the leaves, all the snow falls on me. It's so hard operating this camera. Be <laughs> careful there, River. It's starting to feel a little nauseous. <laughs> but you gotta keep going sometimes. So the pond's right here. Uh, my abs are really tightened up from the cold. My back is feeling pretty cold. My core is pretty warm though. I'm not feeling that bad. I'm feeling a little nauseous, like I was thinking I might. So it's about a half a mile. We're gonna head back and uh, run back to the house and I'll share that prepping lesson with you. Let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a power run. Just go crazy and then I'll come back. So let's keep running. Okay. Whoop, almost tripped again.
do. Okay, we'll wait for you. We're waiting for river. So I'm gonna give you, guys, we're all waiting to see. Oh, I tripped. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, why? That's as painful as it looks. <laughs> Let's head in and I'll share that prepping tip for you. Okay, so right now I'm feeling kind of nauseous like I thought I would. Got a little bit of a headache I think from the cold uh, and uh, you know my body just being hot on the inside, cold on the outside. I feel sort of uncomfortable right now. But in a life or death situation sometimes you don't really have a choice between whether or not you're going to be you know running or not running. Sometimes you just have to exert yourself. So uh, what I always keep in my my bug out bag, not in a glass jar like this, is crystallized ginger. And this is just little uh, sugared pieces of ginger. Ginger is a really, really powerful anti-nausea sort of food that you can eat. Why, when I have one of these, I'll just chew it up very slowly and let the juices from the ginger go down into my stomach. Looks like Amber might want one too. <laughs> and uh, it's really going to help to keep me from getting overwhelmed by the the feeling of nausea, nausea that I always get when I'm running out in the, in the cold weather and everything. So again, thank you for everyone that helped me uh, get all those uh, subs to, uh, to get to the next level on my other channel. Really appreciate that. And just let everyone know, uh, we were able to do two Alien Invasion episodes for February. All the, all the pledges came in, so we got all of our finances in order. So. On the third Friday of February, we're going to be able to have our second Alien Invasion episode, uh, uh, day 7.5. My brain's still not caught up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.